Welcome back, my felonious YouTube brethren. Today, we're going to be talking about something that we learned by playing too many hours of GTA 5, or if you're old like me, too much San Andreas. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. You know who you are. Let's do it. But Joe, I didn't quite get the reference in the intro. Are you suggesting that in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to beat up a hooker and get your money back? No, no, we're not going over that. Today, we're going over vehicle interdiction, vehicle takedown tactics, when it should be applied, and how to do it as safely as possible. And kids, what you do with a hooker is your own business. If you won all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay, that's not good. All right, boys and girls, now that we've established that this video is not going to be about beating up hookers and getting your money back. Thank you so much for wasting my time. I know some of you probably already clicked off the video by now. Vehicle interdiction and intradiction, intradiction, getting in, getting in cars. Uh, vehicle takedown maneuvers while you're on foot. What we're gonna do is kind of show you the basics of how you need to approach the situation, uh, how to clear a vehicle. Uh, we're gonna kind of bounce in between military and law enforcement tactics, and we're gonna kind of melt them together into a, a hybrid style. We do see quite a bit of uh, vehicle tactics where it's just a whole bunch of guys, a whole bunch of guys. Oh, I like that. And they sprint up to the car really close and then they just mag dump into the glass. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can clear a car like that. Uh, but I'm gonna show you some other ways. It's probably your safest way to clear a vehicle. You take this information and filter it through your individual situation and use it how you need to. So this big Rubbermaid tub is our vehicle. This water bottle here is the driver. So the driver is in the driver's seat, closest to this side, because this is America. The vehicle is facing that way. The best angle to approach a vehicle to clear it is obviously gonna be from the rear. Watch your profanity. Why? Well, obviously because if there's anybody in the car, it's harder to turn around and see what's behind you than it is to look out the front windshield. So there you go. Obviously you can do it from any angle, but in a perfect world, you wanna come in from the backside, giggity. Uh, optimize safety and clear it as efficiently as possible. You wanna have at least a minimum of two people do this. You can do it with one, but it's gonna be slower and it's gonna be obviously riskier. Uh, both your players, the uh, assaulting force, if you wanna call it that, were together as we approach the vehicle from the rear. Now, this is where we're gonna start blending law enforcement with military. So what we're gonna wanna set up is an L-shaped ambush on the vehicle itself. But using the L-shaped ambush, as we get into that position, we're gonna be using uh, law enforcement tactics. And by that, what I mean is when you get pulled over and the officer approaches your vehicle, he's coming up in your blind spot where you can't see him. If you have a weapon or anything like that, it's gonna be a harder angle for you to do anything. You wanna stay in his blind spot as long as you can. So for the guy that's going to be pulling essentially rear security for this example, you'll approach the vehicle. Obviously you wanna look for any kind of suspicious movement, people, etc. Just use common sense. And you're going to be essentially holding overwatch over the vehicle while the other guy is gonna be doing the, the searching and clearing. I'm gonna come up on just the adjacent side he can obviously see me out of that side mirror if I'm too far out, but I want to get just in that tiny bit of blind spot where I'm on the corner of his rear view mirror. And then from that point, you're just going to hold overwatch. And you're the guy that if anything goes sideways, that's when you mag dump into the car because you're covering your buddy. So from that position, 
you're obviously just holding it. This is when the other guy is going to split off and we're going to create that L-shaped ambush. So we've got our guy holding rear security. And then this one, your, your guy that's clearing the vehicle, he's going to split to the driver's side. And then from here, uh, it's a lot like clearing a room with one man CQB. You're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go slow and methodical and you're looking for movement, suspicious activity, etc. <clears throat> and you're clearing inside the vehicle as best as possible from this angle. And then from here, this is when you can slowly approach if everything looks peachy. And that's when you can collapse in or transition to your sidearm whatever you would like to do and that's where you can begin to open the door and then clear the vehicle um, as necessary <clears throat> the only uh, questions that i can somewhat anticipate is okay well do you clear the back door first and then the front seat because that's how you're you're approaching it that's the first thing that you're getting to situation dictates at that point I mean, y'all have already got eyes inside the vehicle. So if it's looking sus, like there's some shenanigans going on in the back seat, then yeah, that might be what you need to clear first. But I'm going to assume that if it's a vehicle with a potential threat inside of it, uh, one of his potential options as a bad guy is to boogie. So he's going to want to be in that driver's seat so that he can leave, reverse, whatever. That's immediately what I would do if I was the bad guy. So that's why <clears throat> I'm initially going to move to the driver's seat first. Once I clear that, and of course, obviously when you open the door, you're gonna be able to clear all the way aside. You're more than likely gonna be able to get a piece of the rear passenger side. Clear as much as you can from that angle. And then you move on to your back door, clear that. Don't forget, uh, if it's a sedan type vehicle with a trunk, you need to clear the trunk. Big shout out to Dub Dot Mounts. They are a huge supporter of the channel. Guys, if you're wanting to upgrade your pistol to become optics ready, but still keep your iron sights, they're the guys to look up. I can't tell you where to go, but if you give them a Google, you can find them. Go check them out. They have awesome prices. Their stuff is like absolute retarded chimpanzee strong. So you know that's basically uh, a superhero. Go check them out and use discount code GOLIATH10 at checkout for 10% off, guys. Guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos with your buddies. Uh, that helps the channel out tremendously right now. It's just liking the video and sending it to one of your homies uh, if you like what you saw. So we've got lots more stuff coming to y'all think y'all really are gonna enjoy it so we'll catch you on the next one always push back i mean spread man i pulled my butt apart and stuff and i was totally nude and it was weird i i mean you probably didn't hear about it because i went under the name of mike honcho <laughs>